pushing, and today we're looking at a discrepant event in optics. It has to do with this uh, clear glass tube and the words aluminum oxide. So let's take a closer look. Now if I take the tube and I hold it directly above the words aluminum oxide, as you can see we can still read the words very plainly right through the tube. Now I've cut the bottom of the tube and I'm going to fill it up with water. There we go. Now I'll put a cap on the other end to seal it. Now let's go try it again. This time when I put the tube back in the holder, the word aluminum appears to be upside down, and I can't read it. And yet the word oxide still appears to be right side up. So what's going on? Does it have to do with the green versus the red, and the refracted differently as they travel through the water lens? Part of the answer is by filling up that tube, I've made it into a convex lens. And any time we view an image through this type of lens, it'll take the image and invert it, or turn it upside down. For example, These arrows show us what's happening to the letters of the words aluminum. When they are sitting directly underneath this lens, they're turned upside down, so you can't read them. The trick is the letters in the word oxide appear the same whether they're right side up or upside down. Kind of like these arrows. You can't tell they've been turned upside down because they're pointed in both directions. So in this case, you can still read them. Now we can have some fun with this by either filling a cup or a smooth-sided soda bottle with water and then using it as a lens. This soda bottle will give us the same effect as we saw with that glass tube. In this case, the arrows below the water level change directions, but the arrows above the water level keep going the same way. Here we can make Homer look the other way. hand pointed to the left is now pointed to the right. And finally, Goofy and his car make a U-turn by simply going behind this lens. 